SLR, statutory liquidity ratio. This is the second reserve requirement set by RBA. It is nothing but every bank has to maintain a portion of their net demand and time liabilities in the form of cash, gold or approved government securities. The current SLR requirement is 19.5 percentage of NDTL. Maximum SLR can be 40 percentage of NDTL. What are demand liabilities? Demand liabilities are like current deposits, savings bank deposits, letter of credits or guarantees or overdue fixed deposits or unclaimed deposits. And uh, time liabilities are nothing but which have a fixed term like fixed deposits, cumulative and uh, recurring deposits, security deposits received from uh, staff or gold deposits etc. As we have seen SLR and CLR plays a vital role in money supply. These are known as reserve requirements. As SLR increases, say instead of 19.5, if it is 25 percentage, it means that out of 100 rupees deposit, every bank has to maintain 25 rupees as gold or approved government securities. It reduces the lending capacity of banks. So, as SLR and CRR increases, the money supply decreases. SLR, non-maintenance and return submission. If a bank fails to maintain SLR on a daily basis, then it has to pay penalty at the rate of bank rate plus 3 percentage per annum. Suppose if the bank fails to maintain SLR on subsequent days, then the penalty shall be bank rate plus 5 percentage per annum basis. And every bank should file returns in form 8 before 20th of every month. And before 20th of every month, it has to file details about the SLR maintained for the previous month. And these are the details that should be filed that is SLR held on alternate Fridays during the immediate preceding month with particulars of demand and time liabilities and similarly they have to also mention the mode of valuation of securities and uh, the excess cash balance they have maintained with RBA etcetera. 